So this is integration of trigonometric function. Now we have done differentiation of trig. Now this is integration of trig. Now as we have solved that one, the same way we will solve this. But now this one will be the y ds and y. Meaning if the y ds is sine s, y will be minus cos s. But remember for differentiation if y is sine s the y ds is cos but now integration if y is sine the y ds is minus cos so if y is cos s the y ds is sine um if the y ds is cos s y is sine s if the y ds is e raised to power s y is e raised to power s if the y ds is sec square s s sec square s y ds is tan s now note this on integration is like reverse of differentiation now let's solve under this so let me say we have integral of sine 4x ds now to do integration remember we've done this on differentiation go and check but integration now you will differentiate what you have here now what do you have here for s differentiate for s you get four remember it's differentiate or differentiate for s you get four now that four turn it upside down that will be one over four do you know that four is like four over one if you turn it upside down it will be one over four so please always turn everything upside down yeah this is short method you know i said we are using short method now differentiate for s you get four turn it upside down that is one over four now integrate sine check the table you see now sine is minus cos so that will be always write minus first then minus cos now rewrite that for s that will be four s answer then plus c but jump can use k anyone you like you see k anyone is still correct so now this is the answer let's do it again now the first thing is what differentiate for s you get four turn it upside down that will be one over four now integrate sine check the table you will see minus cos that is minus cos then rewrite for s then plus k you have solved again differentiate for s you get four turn it upside down that is one over four integrate sine that will be minus cos then rewrite for x i hope it's clear because it's short method now let's see another question integral of cos 7s plus 2 ds now to do cos 7s plus 2 ds the same way in differentiate what you have at the front that is 7 turn it upside down that is 1 over 7 now integrate cos that will give us sine check the table then rewrite 7s plus 2 then plus k that's all so that is integration i hope you are getting it so integration too is simple let's see another example integral of sec square 4s ds that means the first thing differentiate for s that will be four and um, four that will now be my uh, one over four turn it upside down now integrate sec square check the table to give you tan that will be tan then rewrite four s plus k answer so let's move on integral of e raised to the power 7s ds 
first differentiate 7s you get 7 turn it upside down that is 1 over 7 now rewrite everything complete as in everything that will be plus k again differentiate this turn it upside down then rewrite everything complete all the question that is the answer so let's move on if you don't grab you can always rewind the video backward now there is one i need to add integral of one over x will give us lean x or log s base e so but you see lean s most of the time so for example integral of cos 2s plus 1 over s so i just add more to it now so integral of cos 2s plus 1 over s so integrate cos 2s first first thing differentiate 2x you get 2 turn it upside down that is 1 over 2 now integrate cos check the table that will be minus sign then rewrite 2s that means i'm through with that one plus now integrate 1 over s check the table now that will give us lean s then plus k many of you integrate 1 over s you get lean s answer so let's hope you are getting so study everything here now so this is based on trigonometric function study it so i'll give you a question that we need to practice